You know, I was gonna stand for this and be all like, hello everybody and welcome, and maybe make it a little bit different than me sitting in this chair, but the way the camera is positioned, the way the room and what I want to get into this shot, it's just not gonna happen. So welcome, my name is Tech. No, it's Pat, but it's Techman Pat. Welcome, we're gonna do something interesting and something that only a few get to enjoy, and that is basically mounting, base and mounting the Odyssey G9 from Samsung, one of the biggest monitors on the market and one of the coolest. And if you wanna watch my review of that monitor, links below. Today, we're gonna to take that monitor and we're going to mount it. Now, the problem with mounting it on a VESA mount, a stand and arm that can actually move around, is the sheer weight of it plus the curvature. So we're gonna talk about what we needed to get to make it work and it wasn't cheap. Actually, it was very expensive to make this work, but I'm on a mission to get rid of cables in here and make my desk a little bit cleaner and less messy in regards to things on it. You know, minimalistic living with all the crap that's over there that you can't see out of the camera. So, let's roll the intro. So while we bake in Perth because it's nearly 40 degrees, let me go through the list of the items I had to purchase. First of all, we had to get an Odyssey G9, which was 2,750 Australian dollar ruse, and obviously you need one, and I'm not gonna judge how you got one, even if it fell off the back of a truck. It's a big box to fall off the back of the truck. Then we need an Ergotron HX desk mount LCD arm monitor up to 42 inches, this is 49, but bear with me, but 19 kilograms, and without a stand, this is 15 kilograms, which is a great sign because we have to take off the stand. Then we also needed to buy this little box right here. Uh, this little box is the HX heavy duty tilt pivot for up to 49 inches and 12.7 kilograms to 19.1. Because it doesn't really matter that this is weighed less than 19 kilograms, it's actually the curvature and the angle that when it droops, the weight is further to the front and the pivot can't hold it. So the prices are as follows, 369, but it's like $600 on Amazon. So this is from Scorp Tech and I'll put the links below. And this was $89, the heavy duty tilt pivot. And postage was $61 because, well, they're not light. Anyway, both are in stock in Scorp Tech and actually one of the only retailers with a reasonable price in Australia. So let's get unboxing, let's see what's inside and then we're gonna go and install this. You will of course need the VESA mount that is included with your Galaxy G9, a screwdriver and maybe something sharp and with a long edge to unbox these boxes. So let's have a look at the actual pivot because that's the first thing that we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to install the pivot onto the arm and I'm hoping that it's easy, but we'll see what happens. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Did I unbox it upside down? Maybe a must have. Okay, it is very heavy, so that's good, I suppose. So let's have a look. Oh, plastic, plastic. And I'll explain these things in a second. But there you have it. Looks like a lot of actual metal in here. Looks very heavy. That's great. And yeah, there's the mount. Solid metal. Impressive. $89. I don't know if that's cheap or not because we're going into the very premium um, sector. Now we've got some screws and stuff, that's great. These things, we're gonna take the monitor, we're gonna tip it flat, and we're gonna place it on this because it is curved and the edges will be touching some of the ground. Now that we have all this out of the way, let's actually see the full Aragon arm. Ergotron, defender of the things to defend. Your ergonomics, they're defending your ergonomics. Oh, I'm so bad with a knife. Okay, so we've got some instructions, got proper instructions on how to mount this, which is great. And we've got some bits and pieces. Cool. We'll have to have a look at this. So first of all, lots of screws, which some of this obviously is what we had in the other box. And we've got more screws. So don't forget these screws. They are nicely named, which I really like. The fact that they've got a little name here, MB, MC, blah, blah, blah. More screws over here and extra mounts for different screens, which we probably won't be using, but that's okay. It's good that it comes with it. We've got one part of the arm. This is the one that we'll need to be using to mount the end. So let me take that out. It is very heavy. I mean, you're paying a couple of hundred dollars for this 
and at the end of the day, it is actually metal. It looks really strong. So I'm actually impressed with the build quality. This is really, really, really solid. I mean, how? If you hit somebody over the head with this, they'd end up in hospital. And probably one of the hospital beds would have this in the screen mount for the health of that person. Um, we've got the separate mount here. So let's actually compare the difference between these two mounts because I'm really interested to see what you're paying extra for in regards to this bit here. So this one comparably to this one right here, we've got the same fascia, which is fine obviously for mounting purposes. And on the back, we can see that it's pretty much almost the same. And the only difference that I can see is actually the coil. The coil is slightly bigger, but a very slight difference. I have to admit. Also, if you notice, these bits are sticking in and these ones are sticking out. So both of these seem to be slightly different, but I'm really not sure what we're paying for. The block is the same. It must be something to do with the way this is structured and the way it's connected. Okay, there is a slight difference here. We can tell that it is different because there's two screws here, but there's no two screws there. Man, it is hot in this house. All right, let's move on. We know it's different, that's good. We're gonna put this far away so I don't mount it accidentally. This is the one we wanna mount. We have the base, the very large base, because again, this is going to be holding up very large monitors. And again, pure metal, very, very impressive. This is metal, the base here is metal, and these, um, well, these are plastic actually. But that's okay, if, the, if they fail, you can use this and you can move it at three levels. We will need to move it down for this desk. It's a custom built desk that I put together myself. Solid Ergotron right there, very cool. Now, big thanks to one of the uh, actual audience members from my YouTube channel who put me onto these guys. So I finally found stock and I'm really happy to get this going. So white to match obviously the Odyssey G9 white at the back. More bigger screws. I don't know what these plates are, but we'll probably figure it out in a second. There's gonna be a lot of reading. And finally, the last piece of the puzzle, it is this arm, the one that holds the bottom bit. And uh, yeah, it's solid. And you've got some routing areas for cables. And this obviously pops out, which is good. And you can see here, the metal die cast right there. We'll put that back on. Easy peasy, I think, yeah, there you go. And let's get going. And it's voice over time. Welcome. We're going to be taking this apart. First of all, we've obviously got to lay it down on those little soft cushiony things that I found in the uh, back room. And so we're going to take it apart, unplug everything, obviously. And you can take off that white cover from the stand if you haven't a chance to put it on before. It is a way to route your cables. But then you have to take off the plastic bits at the bottom. And then there are four screws, which you will have to unscrew. When we do replace this and put the VESA mount adapter, you will lose the kind of niceness of the lights at the back. They won't look as good because those little plastic bits that we did take off really helped with it. Now let's bring in the adapter and also there will be four screws provided with it that you'll need to screw in very tightly into the base. The little clip at the bottom will be at the top in this case, depending on your orientation of the monitor. Make sure to screw them all in and very tightly. That'll literally be holding your monitor in those four screws and then we can take the plate now to connect the plate we will be using the thumb screws now make sure that little t lip or that junction or that little clip there is facing towards you to the top of the monitor because remember we're going to be placing it down on top of the actual arm and therefore it needs to lock in so you get a chance to screw in two screws from the bottom, which you'll see in a moment. And now we're onto the base. Depending on the thickness of your table, you're going to have to undo those two screws there and move them down towards the actual bottom. Screw them a little bit and then put the other ones back onto it and you can pull them down and then tighten it with the T-shaped tool. Very easy, all the tools are there except a screwdriver. Now make sure to put it on the table, get underneath the table, and tighten it all up. There is a little bolt there 
there, as you can see the little one there, we're gonna use an Allen key and tighten that up and that keeps it in place, but it keeps it also smooth and movable. And when you tighten a little bit more, it'll be less mobile. Same thing with this arm when it goes up a level and you can tighten it up to be a bit more tight. Sometimes you have to maneuver it to get the right spacing and then it becomes nice and tight. You can start routing the cables from the bottom of it and that plastic tab, well, we'll talk about that in a moment. It's a little bit problematic and you can have these little tie clips underneath there on top. And of course, to make it as mobile as possible, you will need to make sure to have long cables. I unfortunately did not have long enough cables and we'll be adjusting it to make sure I can route them to make sure the arm is mobile enough and there's enough slack in the cables to move it around because at the end of the day they're not really held in very tightly and I'll talk about the plastic clip at the end because it was a bloody pain it kept popping out it's not the best design but it's okay once we have routed it in I actually decided to plug the cables in quickly because it helped me with keeping the arm close to the monitor as I brought it in and your mileage may vary maybe I would say don't plug it in it's still easy to plug in the cables once the monitor is on top but I wanted to route it and make sure the links are okay. Once you've put it on, you will notice that the monitor is a lot heavier than the actual amount of strength it can hold up. Make sure to put the two bolts in at the bottom before you start doing any adjustments. Then you put a bolt through in there, bring it up to the top. You'll be able to reach a bolt that tightens the whole thing. You probably will have to tighten it a lot. I had to do about 10, 20 turns, I think, by the time it was actually ready to go and holding up the monitor in place. As you can see, we have it ready to go. The monitor is being held up. It's completely mobile and it's very, very strong. Ergotron has done an absolutely amazing job designing this piece of technology because that's what it is. It is awesome and it is very, very strong. Okay, and we're done and I am soaked. I've got the aircon on. It's nearly, what, 38, 35 now. It's been a crazy time trying to get this installed. I got my thumb stuck and it hurt, it crushed it. And let's talk about the experience because first of all, it looks one of a kind. I mean, the size of this monitor, being able to move back and forth, up and down is absolutely impressive. Not that anybody would want it like that, but wow. The limiting factor of the stand that comes with the G9 is the reason you can spend an extra $529 to get this Ergotron. So a couple things I liked and a couple things I didn't like. Well, first of all, it wasn't extremely clear that you had to get this heavy duty extension. Like it was on the website on Ergotron, but not necessarily on the website of Scorptech. So I did ask them, they didn't even know. So I had to do my own research to get this attachment. So when you're buying this, please make sure you buy the other attachment, the extra attachment to actually make it stay like this. Otherwise, it would be drooping forward due to that curvature. Secondly, the tools that it comes with, fantastic, not a problem. I still have a hard time using these things with the little bits here to like make it stay. I think it's really weak metal um, and when it's a little bit too hard, it just twists and breaks. So uh, one thing to note and moving this now is extremely difficult. You literally have to take it all apart unless you have a friend to help you. This bit here at the bottom, um, I've left it out because the cables are a little bit thick to allow you to just sort of mount them on the back. So at the moment, they're just hanging there. So one thing to Ergotron, this needs to be some sort of lock-in plate. It isn't good enough to be thin plastic that can pop off at the slightest movement of the monitor. Now, every time I have this in, the cable's are nicely hidden. Every time I move it, it just pops out and falls behind the table. So that's a problem I have found. This little tool is really useful. This is what you use to basically toughen it up. And as you saw, it was sagging because I needed to put the pressure on a little bit and now it's in the perfect position. I can move this around a lot. I mean, to the point where Hey guys, let me demonstrate something on the screen. I like it. I mean, at the end of the day, I was after the clean, clean area here under there because I just wanted to get rid of it. I wanted to be minimalist on my desk, which is nice. Um, so my only complaint is this. Now, the other extra things that you have to notice is that you get rid of these things. These things helped with the LEDs on the back of the monitor. So it won't be as bright when it turns on. You just won't be able to see it. And the back of it, as you kind of see, Looks pretty cool, but it could be cooler. The black cables are clearly visible. Uh, there's not much I can do about it because underneath here, when it goes up, it actually is just um, 
connected with these little Velcro stuff. Um, the instructions that it comes with is multilingual, uh, which is great. I mean, there's E N E S F R D E, so Dutch, French, Espanol, and obviously English. Um, and there is a lot of these extras that it comes with, so I have to give props to Ergotron. Every single one of these parts is connected in some way, shape, or form to this product and to multiple other products out there like TVs, certain Philips monitors, there's a lot of Philips stuff here because apparently I had a quick Google, Philips makes a lot of products for hospitals and this is literally where it's aimed at. It's not cheap and therefore most of the people who buy it, it end up being in hospitals because they need it to be really mobile, really strong and last a long time. And actually when you're at home, it's also a good thing to have such a thing. I mean, you won't be moving this as much as you would be in a hospital when you twist things around. You've actually got handles on the monitors when you want to move things around. The other thing is, as you can see, the wobble isn't too bad. It's actually the same as having the other uh, stand from the G9 from Samsung, so that's that's great. And like I mentioned, lots of screws for different types. They're all actually accounted for here, named, um, and there's just heaps of them. I'm so impressed with this product. So finally, thoughts in regards to is it worth it? I think if you've got a G9 and you've got a mobile desk like I do, Oh, there we go. I think it's actually certainly worthwhile, especially if you're gonna be standing, you can move it around in different ways. It does remove the space here of the stand. The stand does take up a lot of space. So if you like to bend your keyboard like out this way, you might have to think twice when getting this monitor, having the stand there. And of course, because this is one of the only products out there that can actually make the G9 stand on its own, it is concerning because of the price. And um, at the moment, what I suggest is, I got to test this, it works, I'm very happy with it, the installation was pretty easy, a few hurt crushed thumbs, that's okay. If you're looking for a stand out there, I have linked it below to Scorptex website, obviously no affiliate link for me, which is fine, I don't really care. So um, make sure to like and subscribe if you like this video, that'll help, that'll support me. Um, and let me know your thoughts, is this a good solution to such a giant monitor? Personally, I think it is. Friends, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you all in another video. Bye! <laughs> I'm tired, I'm so tired.